Hey guys, Ben Funnenberg, Hey Man Fishing. On this episode, I'm re replacing uh, a part on this force trolling motor. Um, evidently, this part right up in here where this cable comes out is uh, a bad design. It's causing some of the cables to break. You can see mine right here where I pulled on it so much. Uh, I've actually wore down the, uh, the cover on that uh, cable. I'm gonna be replacing a uh, a plate that's on my force trolling motor. Um, there must be a design flaw on this uh, on these forces right up in here because they've come out with a what they call it as a electronic kit plate, and uh, you can see how my cables wore down right there. I've already had one to break, and I'm gonna replace this here. This is the new stuff right here. I got, uh, they send you a new plate and a gasket comes with it, cable with a handle. And uh, they also sent me another uh, a pull handle with the parts in it. So we're gonna try to put this stuff on and uh, maybe it'll help you when you go to do yours if you, if you get the kit. This is the new plate, but you can see the difference on this hole right here. This hole right here, compared to that hole there. Uh, they made the part that comes through there a little bit bigger. Uh, actually, here's the new part. You see, a uh, lot gonna be a lot wider. I guess it's a lot, maybe a lot smoother. Uh, for that cable to be pulled in and out there um, Now what I'm using I think I'm gonna need at least I got it out and looked at it, but uh You got a retain you got a little small retaining ring and a screw I'm gonna go step by step what I'm doing and uh, I don't know maybe this will help you Okay, the way I'm gonna approach this I'm on I'm gonna unhook. I'm gonna replace the cable for sure and uh, so I'm going to take this apart, expose it, because it's the only way you're going to get that cable through this little hole is just to feed it through. You got eight screws up in here. You see them right here. You got eight of them. You got to take all that off. So our first step, let's take this handle off. should be pretty simple. It's got two little, little tiny screws in there. Now my next step is I'm going to take all these screws out on here. And looks like looks like it's already got a little bit of a Loctite on there, so that's just telling me I'm going to put some back on there. All right. All right. So take out all your screws. You got eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got one right there in the middle. You got to take it out. And you're going to pull that plate off. Alright, that plate, I take the plate right on all. When you get, when you get that part off, you're going to run that, run that cable through there. See what I'm doing here. Just take your cable and run it through. You gotta take it out. Now that's the whole plate. And you see it's got a gasket on the back. So you're gonna end up putting your new gasket on this new part right here. So let's do that. This gasket on the back, it's got these little uh, places in there. It'll, it'll, it'll line, it goes right on this, uh, this ridge. It'll work its way around this ridge. So you're gonna have to press it down on there. All right, so I got this gasket around those little edges on there pretty good. 
All right, our next step, guys, is take this retaining clip off. We're going to pull that off, and then this part will come out. All right, so we, we got this part, the retaining clip, on here. Now you just need to feed that back through and take it out. So on this part right here, to get that out, take your pair of pliers, grab it from behind, and pull it out. Okay, so I got the old part right here. I'm gonna discard it, and I'm gonna put the new part in there. That new part, I'll go in just like that. But you got to put that uh, retaining nut on the back end of that. That retaining ring, you gotta install that on the back side of it. So let me just get that. You're gonna put that part through the hole here and then you're gonna put the retaining ring on the back side to lock it down and uh that's probably the hardest part is trying to get that set up in there okay we got the nut in there so now this cable i'm gonna go ahead and replace it so i'm gonna run it on through here you can see down in there you see that clip you're gonna pull that out and put your new cable down in there let me let me pull that out Just get you uh get your needle nose. Just get your needle nose. Pull that out. And now we're gonna replace it with a new cable. Take a good look where you you pulling that cable through. There's a, a slot right down there below that bar in there. You can see that cable where it's at. Alright, so I got this new cable right here. Alright, the little smaller end. Go ahead and Run it through inside. All right. You just go. This part right here. This part right here has got to go through the same place where that old cable is. So I'm gonna pull the old cable out. Okay, I got the new cable in there. You see it sitting right there. And now I'm just gonna. Put it right over top where the old cable was and there's a place for that carter key on them holes you got a hole on uh, that lower end of that cable it's, it goes over top of the other one so let me put that on all right once you get your hose lined up inside put your carter key down on there and lock it in all right i got that key down in there i got it locked see the carter key went through the hose i got that locked all right, we got our cable in. Give it a little tug, make sure you got it, that quarter key in there and everything's good. All right, now we just need to put our, our plate over top and put our screws on. Be sure when you're putting this, when you're putting this plate back on here, is don't damage this gasket back here. Don't get it out of alignment or you won't have a good seal. All right. Last thing to do here is take it uh, handle and put on here. One thing Garmin recommends you do is these these latches right here. You need to put some kind of a uh, lubricant on there. You got you got a set here, you got a set down here. Now I use this. Uh, it's called. It's made by Dupont. I got it off Amazon. It's a dry uh, lubricant. You want to do is hit these springs, hit these latches, both sides, and uh, basically that's the maintenance on your trolling motor right there is keeping it lubricated. Right. Okay, guys, I, I hope that helps a little bit, and this is going to fix that issue Garmin had with that, uh, that that bad design. So 
If you like this kind of content, I got a lot of other videos on fishing. Uh, subscribe. And um, until next time, God bless all of you. We'll see you later.